I previously set all my render settings and my render passes in another tutorial. So this one just focuses on the render layers. So I'm going to enter the render layer uh, window by clicking the clapperboard with the little two layers. And here I can see where I can create a new layer with this icon. So I'm going to do that and I call it AO render layer. So I know because you might add multiple. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a collection. This is going to be all the geometry that I want to include in my render layer. So a quick way of selecting all the geometry in your scene is to go to your outliner window, click show, objects, geometry. Right, I've already done it, there we go. Show objects, geometry. Um, and then if you select everything, you'll know that you've got all the geometry selected. And then we're gonna click this add button and that is gonna add all of the geometry to uh, this render layer. If I click on this little eye icon here, it switches to the view is going to be for my render layer. So if I um, clicked that and there was no geometry or there was geometry missing, I would know to add further geometry. And then I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to click create material override. I'm going to name it AO material over right and I forgot to name this so I'm just going to go back and name this AO geometry so in the material override click the little check checker um, and then I'm going to search at the top here for ambient occlusion and this is an AI ambient occlusion this is um, Arnold's ambient occlusion shader so I'm going to check that and that has now applied a material override so it's going to override all of my old materials that I had but only on this ambient occlusion layer. Uh, it's not going to affect my original scene which is up here. So first thing to do is going to check that that has actually worked. So I'm going to render my uh, render camera and I might just pause while this does it if it takes a while. So here I can see that my material override has worked. I'm now getting ambient occlusion. I'm not happy with the look of the ambient occlusion render. Um, the spread is, is far too um, large. So I can edit the values of my ambient occlusion shader here um, and then do another test render and once I'm happy that's when I would then go to uh, batch render it so I'm just going to try adding sort of a bit of fall off here um, I'm going to pause again while I test render till I'm happy with the settings okay so I've tweaked the settings and I'm a bit happier with the results so now that I've tested that I'm quite happy to go ahead and actually do my render so I'm just going to go back to the um, render layers. You need to make sure that any layer that you want to render, including your original scene, uh, has the checkerboard icon highlighted. So with both highlighted, when I now render, it's going to render both of those. Um, so that's all set up. So the next step is to send this to render. Um, I mentioned in the previous video that Arnold will watermark uh, your work if you don't have a full license and you choose batch render. So we're going to use render sequence instead and I'm going to click the little options box and you just want to make sure that all render enabled layers are checked otherwise it will ignore um, the layer override uh, that we just created. Uh, and then I'm going to click render sequence it's going to render within the render view window um, rather than in the background like batch render does. So it may take a little longer, but not by too much. So I'm going to pause this um, until my renders have finished. Okay, so my render sequence is finished and in my um, images folder, my project uh, folder, 
I have two folders, my AO render layer and my master layer. So inside my master layer, I've got um, one EXR file, which has got all my render passes. And then in my AO render, I will have another EXR file, which will have my ambient occlusion um, render layer. So the next step is to take this into After Effects, so that's going to be a separate tutorial.